Now that we have all of our pieces bent, we're gonna start hot gluing everything together. So the first thing we're gonna start with is our water tower roof. And it's connection piece. So I'm gonna apply glue to the interior of the roof piece, like so. Take my water tower connection piece, a little bit of glue on there, flip it over, take a look at where we're lining up. Very nice. I wanna make sure that we're not getting any glue inside of the seam. So if you need to make any adjustments now would be the time to do it. We're gonna put a little bit of glue here on this edge, like so. And we take the two, and I like to bring it up and over and down onto the piece, keeping an eye on this edge here for my connection. Remember, you are using hot glue. So be careful not to melt your hands or glue yourself into your tower. And then I'm gonna take my little tower nub piece, slide that right inside so it pokes out the other side. I like to do it so that it is 90 degrees from the seam. And I put a little blob of glue on one side and a blob of glue on the other. And you're gonna wanna let that cool. You're gonna wanna find your inside top piece. That's this guy right here. This is the, the one you're going to be putting like so inside of the roof line. And when you do this, what you're gonna to need to do is add glue all the way around the edge of the water tower roof. So I come in and put a dot of glue about every other roof tile. Grab my inside top piece and I press it in place. Sort of pinch my edge down and rotate it around. Any little bit of glue that kind of slips out, you can usually rub and pull right off. Now we've got that put together. So I'm gonna set that guy aside, like so. Next piece I'm gonna do is my tower tank piece. So I've got my connection piece, like so. And in this case, what I'm gonna do is start with applying the glue to the connection piece along, like so. And I wanna tilt it in, come right underneath. What I'm trying to do is line it up with that score edge, with the edge of our piece of material for the tank. Give some pressure. And I've got a low temperature hot glue gun so it cools pretty quickly. Highly recommend that. Then I'm going to apply glue to the seam, take my tank piece and slip it over the top and bring it down. And I want to line up my edges right across the top. If I do the top, then I know the bottom is going to line up too. Give me a nice round shape. Then I'm going to grab my inside tower pieces these guys are right here. And those guys are gonna go inside the tower. So these we actually just slip right in and they should sort of pressure fit. Kind of pop and lock, just like so. So you get that nice little lip. Doesn't have to be perfect all the way around, 
but that will help to create the actual round tank shape itself. So I've got that on the inside like so. And we've got it over here. Now I've got a nice round form. Take my hot glue gun and I apply a little dot of glue. About every half an inch or so. It's not load bearing so it doesn't make that big of a difference. It's just there to make the shape. Let's get that all the way around. Hot glue will sort of line itself like so and droop down into the into place. I'm then going to take my set these guys aside and I'm going to take my bottom and my top pieces. These are what make up the tank base. And these guys are offset just a little bit. It's essentially designed so that this space will accommodate the handrail portion, which will end up sliding right in there. So when you line these two up, you want to make sure that you're giving them that little bit of space all the way around. All right. So we're going to apply the glue to the top, not to the bottom. And we're going to do it right to the edge. Now this one we have to do pretty quickly because we don't want it to cool before we get this in place. So I kind of rotate it around, check the alignment. Any little extra glue you can usually rub right off. We want to make sure that our edge is clear all the way around because that's where our handrail is going to go. And that takes us to the handrail piece. If you take a look at your handrail, you'll notice that there's actually a slightly thicker than and thinner side. We want to be gluing to our thicker side. So that's what's going to go onto the edge of this tank piece. And we're going to start with the edge and the end of our piece. So we're going to do a little bit of glue right here on the edge. We're going to apply our tank handrail right to the edge and we're going to let that cool. There we go. So once that is attached and it's on there nice and tight and that glue is cool, we can then move ahead and put another bit of glue right on the corner. And I'll do two dots. You can do one dot. And then we just kind of let it pull right around like so. Let me let those cool. So with that piece cooled, we can then just kind of pull that right around and it will shape right into that edge. So then we can add more glue. And don't go too crazy with the glue in here. The neat thing with the hot glue gun is once the two pieces come together, the glue cools very quickly. So you can actually move pretty fast with these pieces. And I'm just kind of keeping pressure on that corner. Apply some more glue. About a half an inch to three quarters of an inch between the two. When it's coolish, you can just rub those pieces right off. And I'm going to continue right around. Another dot of glue. 
on it right into position. last piece we're going to put a little bit of glue right in here in the corner and then we're going to put some right on this edge so bring that around catch some of that glue and you hold it still till it's cool Now I've got the handrail wrapped right around, nice connection. Then what I'm going to do is take my tower tank, I'm going to put a little bit of glue right around the edge of our tower base piece. And I can put it just inside the line because that's where our tower is actually going to set. Just apply those right around the outside. Take my tank and I'm going to just drop it right into position. And notice that I have the seam of my handrail lining up with the seam of my tower because what I like to do is keep all of that to the back so that nobody can see it nice and clean. Then I'm going to take my roof that's going to apply right to the top and take that and I'm just going to apply glue right to that outside edge because that's where we're going to come in contact with nope so we're not going to put it right on the roof part. I'm actually put it in about a quarter of an inch the inside. Let me flip it over to kind of work on our alignment. And I kind of rub that extra pieces off. You get these little wispy parts, sort of like spider webs. You can clean those up later, need be. All right, so I've got my roof line close to my back line and my handrail line, so keeping all that stuff sort of hidden and tucked away. Now we're going to build our pipe. So we're going to set that aside. I'm going to grab my pipe pieces and we're going to start with our small guys. They're little connectors. And we're going to build these guys one at a time. And these we're going to use the same technique as we did with the other parts where we're going to attach the connector first. And I need more hot glue. When you're attaching these pieces, always try to keep them centered on one another. And we're lining up that score line with the outside edge. Apply glue to the other portion. Bring them together and push them down. nice little roundy part. Go to our next bigger piece, apply the glue to the connector, center it on the piece, apply some more glue, Fold 
hold it in and connect. And if you've got a standard hot glue gun, I'm going to hold it for a little bit, make sure that it doesn't pull apart. That's where actually having that little bit of extra bend in there when you fold them will help. Last but not least is our third piece of pipe. Glue to the connection, bring it in, over, and line up that bottom edge. Next piece is going to be our long pipe. So this one we want to make sure that we've got it well bent, especially the connection piece. And kind of roll them. Take these guys and you kind of have to flatten this back out. Because it'll bend nicer once we put it all together. So with this one we start with the first one nice and long. And we're going to line that with the bottom edge. We're about an eighth of an inch or so off the very bottom, right there. I just apply that pressure, and we're centering the connection piece essentially on that score line, right? Just like the other guys. Same thing is going to happen with this one. Glue right on down the line. And we're going to end up with about an eighth of an inch off the top end, right like so, which gives us another eighth of an inch approximately in there. And it doesn't have to be perfect, just as long as you're in between the two. That's what is most important. So we'll let that cool down a little bit. And then we're going to go ahead and bend our connection pieces down. So the next thing's going to happen is we're going to do this in one quick movement. Because this one we have to do both of the connection pieces right along here and along here. One quick movement. So we're going to glue, blip and look and then we're going to close so we fold it down and we catch that edge and I'm just kind of moving my fingers along that shape. So pretty round. Now that we have all of those pieces done and glued together, we're going to do some quick assembly of this pipe. 